What's going on Tackle Warehouse fans? Jake here with another how-to video. Today we're gonna give you kind of a beginner's guide on how to choose the right jig. Now we know there is thousands of jigs on our website, you know, all these different weights, head shapes, you know, skirts, skirt styles, hooks, you name it, there is a different jig out there for every situation. So we kind of want to just go over the basic jig styles that are out there on the market. I know there's a lot of hybrid designs, but most of them, you know, build from one of these foundations of the jig types we're going to go over. So we can basically break them down into four different categories. So you kind of know what jig, you know, what purpose each jig is suited for. So the first, the most, you know, the biggest category of jigs out there on the market is going to be your casting and flipping jigs. And all casting and flipping jigs are basically built off the same principles with an Arky style head. So an Arky style head is just like this casting jig right here. Um, this is a dirty jig specifically. And they have this kind of rounded head shape. And this is going to be your most all purpose jig that's out there on the market. So if you're going down the bank and you want to throw up shallow end brush, you want to throw out deep on rocks, you know, skip under a dock, maybe, fit, you know, swim it through some weeds or something like that. If you need a jig to do all those, you know, all those types of applications, the regular casting jig is going to be the one you want to go to. You can fish them deep, you can fish them shallow. They do just about everything really, really well. Now, when you talk about flipping jigs, as you can see, the head shapes are nearly identical. Uh, most casting and flipping jigs have the same exact head shapes, all built on that Arky style design. Now, where the flipping jig separates from the casting jig is the flipping jigs are going to have that super heavy wire hook, as you can see in the difference of hooks there much heavier gauge and you know, wider gap. And then the weed guards, the casting jig's gonna have that lighter weed guard on it. And then the flipping jig's gonna have that much heavier duty weed guard. So if you're looking for a jig to throw into heavier types of cover, you wanna use a flipping stick, you know, 25 pound floral, 65 pound braid, the flipping jig is gonna be the one you wanna go with. You know, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't use the casting jig for using 65 pound braid and a big flipping stick. That's where you wanna turn to that, that flipping style jig. So the next category of jigs we're gonna go over is your football jigs. So football jigs are another huge category. You gotta think about football jigs as your dragging style jigs. So you can fish them shallow all the way out deep. Um, football jigs are really good. They're going, going through rocks and gravel and deep structure and things like that. They, that football head shape comes through really well. As the name implies that football, it's, you know, the head shape is shaped like a football, turned sideways. And what that head shape also does is those, those ends of the football on there, they'll catch and grab rocks as it's going through the, as you're dragging it along the bottom and it's gonna get your trailer to move back and forth and give your jig a lot of action. Football jigs are also, you know, they kind of catch on everything and, when, and they pop free really easy. So that jig shoots up off the bottom and it looks just like a flint and crawdab. And then another thing that's built into most football jigs on the market is the weight is balanced in a way that the hook is gonna, gonna sit in an upward position and keep your trailer in that natural crawdad um, position. Football jigs, for the most part, most of them feature about a medium wire hook and a medium weed guard. So you can throw them out really deep, make really long cast, and you can use lighter lime, and you're not gonna have any problem with hook penetration. You know, just like all jigs, there's, you know, both ends of the spectrum, super heavy and super light as well. So make sure you get the right jig for the right job. Um, the next category of jigs we're gonna go over is swim jigs. You know, as the name implies, swim jigs, you're swimming these through the middle of the water column. Most swim jigs are gonna have that narrow, kind of wedge style head shape. These are really good for going through grass and vegetation and brush and things like that. When you just wanna swim those things right through the middle of the water column, they're more subtle. Um, for those times that you're maybe throwing spinner baits and bladed jigs and you just need to tone down that presentation, the swim jig is a great alternative to turn to. So it's just more finesse and it's not as, you know, not as aggressive as a spinner bait or a, or a bladed jig. You know, those swim jigs are really good for when it's pressured or, you know, there's not a lot of activity on the water. It's real calm. There's not, you know, it's real sunny. That's a great time to turn to these. Um, swim jigs are also going to come in majority of the patterns are going to be those um, bait fish, shad, bluegill, crappie type patterns. You know, made, they're made to imitate, uh, you know, forage like shad and stuff like that. So a great jig for, you know, swimming through the middle of the water calm and then trying to imitate those shad and other bait fish. Last category of jigs we're gonna talk about, ball head jigs. This is another all purpose style of jig. Uh, ball head jig has been around forever. This is, you know, that Buckeye Gerald Swindle ball head balling out jig. Um, this is a great jig for doing just about anything as well. Another all purpose jig, you can throw it in brush, you can throw it in, uh, in rocks, you can skip it under docks, you can fish it shallow, deep, anything like that. The only thing that the ball head is not the best selection for is when you're fishing through grass and vegetation for that. You know, you might want to turn to that swim jig or even a casting jig. 
but just about everything else, the ball head is another great option. If you're an angler that just needs a jig to do a lot of different things in one package, the ball head jig is a great option to turn to. We're gonna talk about one last thing, and that's gonna be finesse jigs. So the finesse jig category has grown tremendously over the last few years. And when we talk about finesse jigs, there's a finesse model of every category of jig that we've just gone over. So there's, there's finesse swim jigs, there's finesse football jigs, we have finesse flipping jigs, and we even have finesse ball head jigs. And with all the finesse jigs, most of them are gonna have this, you know, thinner skirting material, smaller hooks as you can see, you know, small two-aught, three-aught, even one-aught on some really small jigs, you know, lighter wire hooks, lighter weed guards, and the purpose of all these finesse jigs is just to give you that, you know, smaller, more compact profile, um, and just a little bit more toned down finesse action. But you wanna use the same principles of all the other jigs, the jig head styles when you're selecting your finesse jig. And these are great to have in the box when there's a lot of fishing pressure or the bite is really tough. You have a finesse model, you can apply it to any of the other situations and categories of jigs we already talked about. All right, that's all we got for you today. Thanks for tuning into this how-to video on how to choose a jig. If you learned something here today, make sure to give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions about the jigs we covered here today, or if you have any ideas on videos you would like us to film in the future, make sure to leave a comment below. And for more videos like this, go to the Learning Center at TackleWarehouse.com.